Well, hello, YouTubers. So um, I'm going to continue with the series, and right now um, I'm going to go about populating the... Um, we're gonna, I'm going to add a, a, a grid view to the, uh, to the web page, and I'm going to populate the grid view based on the selection of the dropdown. So I'm going to go ahead and open my um, website 6 project right here, and I'm going to leave those labels in there, um, and I'm simply going to the toolbox, um, drag and dropping a, a grid view in here, and also I think I'm going to change this. Currently, I'm pulling authors. I'm going to go ahead and change this to uh, publishers. So let me choose a different column here, publishers. I'm going to use publisher ID and name. Query, OK. Finish it. And then in here, I am going to show the publisher name. And the value select is going to be the uh, publisher ID, OK? And I'm going to use this control to filter the data in the data grid. Um, I'm also going to need another data source in here, SQL data source. And this one's going to be used for the data grid. By the way, when you put this, um, um, this controls on the page, they don't actually render it into anything. So let me just go ahead and show you this. Um, You see that there is the control doesn't show. I just wanted to show you that. Um, and in here, I'm going to configure this data source. I'm going to choose the connection string that is already saved inside the web config file. And we have publishers in one side, and we have titles on the other. So let's put titles. And in here, what information do I want? I want title. I want the price. Uh, publisher ID and publisher date. Let's get those. And now, since I want the data grid to display only books that are for certain publishers, in the where clause in here, um, I'm just going to follow the wizard. So this is really straightforward. Um, the where clause is going to be in the publisher ID. It's going to say equal to. My source is going to be a control. We have several options in here. Control, cookie, form, profile, and so on. I am going to talk about session and query string next, but uh, at this point, we're going to select a value out of a control. My control ID is the drop down list. And then in here, when I select something in the drop down list, the drop down selected value is going to be used in the uh, pub ID. So I'm going to go ahead and click add in here. Click OK, click next. And when I test the query, it's going to ask me for a publisher. I don't know if I remember uh, 0877, is that one? Yeah, that is one actually. And then it just shows in here. So I'm going to click Finish. And now I'm going to simply execute. So rerun it, save. It comes up. And I didn't choose. I, I, I still need to configure this. I forgot to configure this. So on the grid view, I'm going to choose the SQL data source. It's going to be SQL data source 2. And uh, since I am in here, I don't want to display the uh, publisher ID. Um, I can go to the edit column and simply select the publisher ID and remove that column from the grid. Okay. Also, you can choose auto format into something a little more professional. Let's choose the classic in here. Apply. Click OK. Okay. Now I'm going to rerun. And you can see that when I switch this, it actually switches the data in the data grid, um, which is pretty nice. So this is, again, really straightforward. You don't even have to write any code in here. It's all in the ASPX page. Um, let's take a look at it really quick. This part right here, it's the formatting that we chose. So it just added a lot of colors and backgrounds and things like that. Um, when you use the wizard, all of this gets configured for you pretty much automatically. So this is our grid control in here. Grid control name. Um, it shows the, the data the data source that we chose in the wizard. It's right here. Um, also shows the fields in there. So I have a title, a price, and a, 
uh, public uh, published date and the um, uh, the the header of those fields and this is the data that gets published in it um, again very straightforward um, I'm going to um, I'm going to be talking about next into opening that grid into a different page so um, I'm going to show you how to pass parameters from one page to the other using the uh, query string and also the session value so uh, you stay tuned that's actually pretty helpful um, and used very often again if you like the video please go ahead and like it um, subscribe and also check out the uh, Facebook group if you have any questions uh, you can always ask over there a lot of good people answering questions um, again thanks for watching